Here are the top five underrated but awesome necromancy spells in Pathfinder 2e. Goblin Pox. Okay, so spells that give diseases in Pathfinder 2e aren't exactly known for being good. A lot of them just take way too long to do anything. But this spell is an exception. It gives one of the few diseases that only takes a round to get going and to increase. And it can give two of the best debuffs in this entire system to an enemy at the same time. Sickened and slowed. Goblins and goblin dogs are immune, but how often are you going to fight those? Yes, a ton of monsters have high fortitude saves. But combine this spell with the reach spell feat, and you have one of the best first level spells in the game. Advanced Scurvy. Another exception to the disease rule, this spell can make the target enfeebled, fatigued, and take more bleed damage, making it fantastic to use against strength-based enemies. The best part about this spell is that it makes the target enfeebled on a successful saving throw. That's right, enfeebled one on a successful saving throw. They actually get the disease on a failure or a critical failure. The disease itself actually takes too long to increase. But, Enfeebled 1 for 1 minute on a successful saving throw alone makes this spell highly worth it. But, you should ask your GM if you plan on playing in Pathfinder Society. Seal Fate. Ever wanted a creature to have a certain weakness? This is the spell for you. Choose Acid, Bludgeoning, Cold, Electricity, Fire, Negative, piercing, slashing, or sonic damage. The target gains weakness 2 to that type of damage for anywhere from a round to an unlimited duration depending on its saving throw. In addition, if the target at least fails their saving throw and is reduced to 0 hit points by the damage type you chose, it might instantly die depending on its level. Giving an enemy any weakness you want is amazing. Pernacious Poltergeist. There aren't many spells in Pathfinder 2e that let you target any saving throw. But this is one of them. You choose a 10-foot burst within 60 feet and summon a poltergeist in that area. When you cast this spell, and each time you sustain it, you can deal 4d10 negative damage with a fortitude save, frighten enemies with a will save, or deal 48 force damage with a reflex save. This one is fantastic for stealth parties because the ghost is invisible and can't be attacked or damaged. Which means you can use it with no risk as long as you are stealthy. Fantastic spell, more people should use it. Mariner's Curse. This is one that when you first look at it, seems like one that would only be useful in sea-based campaigns. And while it is better in those campaigns, it is useful in other campaigns as well. Just like Goblin Pox, this one combines two of the best debuffs in this entire game if you use it in the right situation. And the best part is, it's a will save, not a fortitude save. Sickened and slowed on their own are ridiculous, but combine the two in one spell, and it's kind of insane. This is just a better version of Goblin Pox, so of course I'm going to cover this one. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And if you're interested in exclusive perks on our Discord server, go ahead and check out the Patreon page. Link is in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.